Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading for September 18th through the 24th. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you prior to turning on the camera. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds of thousands of people. This is for the sign of Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Just saying the signs that just came up, and we're going to get a lot more. Okay, I'm sorry about the fan in the background. It's like 95 degrees in here, whatever. It's like 85 outside, so I can't turn it off. It's just the way it is. Anyway, it looks like we have this unexpected event on the horizon. It may have already happened or it could happen this week. We have the tower card, okay? There's something that could happen that is quite unexpected and could shake things up a little, could shake things up in your relationship, all right? Because we have the Queen of Pentacles and then we have the King of Wands up there. Looks like, um, you know, there's something coming in that is cause, is daring you. It's like a, there's a dare of some sort. And, and I think you're having some sadness this week over something because you have to make a choice again. It looks like you have to make a choice over something. This is... Um, pretending a situation isn't as it is, but it's also about making a choice, all right? And with the Two of Pentacles right next to it, things are a little bit chaotic, disorganized. Um, there might be some deceit somewhere this week. Somebody might be deceiving you, telling you something that isn't the truth, and you know it's not the truth because you have this great awareness here with the Magician card. I see that you're highly aware of the situation. Maybe somebody is, is just telling you some kind of lies or something, and it's bringing some chaos to your life. And they're just, maybe they're doing this because they're not getting the attention from you <coughs> that they wish for. It looks like somebody feels like they're alone, okay, with the Hermit card. Somebody feels like they're alone next to this Four of Cups. They're not getting the attention that they want. They might be feeling ignored, okay, so they might cause a little bit of chaos. This is for Scorpio, all right? We have the Seven of Cups. This is Caution, Beware. You may have had this card before. This card comes up and it says, Be careful, choose wisely. All right, hold on a minute. Think twice before you make a decision. All right. Um, because I see that you're really, there is some kind of decision that needs to be made, and it, there's some sadness wrapped around the decision. Okay? And it has to do with respect, probably, that you have for another person. All right? Um, yeah, I do see some sadness. I do see you taking action, though. I think that you're moving forward. You know what's going on. You're completely aware of what the next step is. Um, you have this oneness with the universe. We have the magician as above, so below. So when this shakeup comes in, it's like you handle it very quickly. And you handle it very well because it's like you almost foresee it, Okay. And it's just like a dare. It's like it is. I see a very daring energy here. Um, here we have the star. The six of cups. Temperance. The nine of cups. The knight of coins. And the page of cups. So there is a new beginning here. So I'm not sure if this is brand new or it's a resurgence of love within a relationship. 
you know, because it looks like, I mean, the Page of Cubs, Cups brings in messages of love. So, you know, this is connected to this not accepting love and this and to the Hermit, which is a sign of Virgo, by the way. Um, this is a sign of Sagittarius. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we have Aquarius. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we have we have them all because we have Pisces, Corp, Scorpio, Cancer. All right, so we do have them all. Um, anyway, let's get back to this. So this is somebody not getting the love that they desire and feeling like they aren't getting the attention that they want. So they're just hiding out, you know, going within, restraining themselves, or um, taking a period of time to reevaluate. Now that could be you, but, you know. But I definitely see there's some trickery here. But you're aware of it, okay? But it is causing a little bit of chaos this week. Um, I think you might be fantasizing about somebody from the past or somebody from the past might be fantasizing about you because we have somebody from the past here. And But the thing is, again, you're aware of this already. I mean, you have this high awareness this week and your wishes being fulfilled is here twice. So it looks like you're moving closer to your wishes being fulfilled. Okay, because of this awareness, this thing, whatever, in this tower, this is a life experience that's going to bring in this awareness um, regarding this person. Somebody is not telling you the truth. Somebody is, is causing chaos. And this is going to, this is going to bring it out in the open, this tower. Okay. There's a period of healing. It looks like you're getting, like maybe you might be going through that right now. Okay, so because this is the wishes being fulfilled, this is the wishes being fulfilled. This is satisfaction. Okay, I think see you being this being a successful week for you because you you know you have the power within you to handle the situation, whatever it is, whatever comes up and gets thrown your way, you have the necessary tools to handle it. No problem, okay? You're very poised, <laughs> well put together. It's like you have a plan this week. It's like they cannot bring you down because you're moving forward. You're, there's no impulse about it, okay? This right here, the temp, temper, uh, temperance card with the star, they're both healing cards, okay? So I think maybe you're healing from deceit, from lies, Maybe you've healed from it, so when this comes in, you're ready for it, okay? You're ready because you've already learned so much, okay? There is going to be a message of love either way. Somebody wants your attention. Somebody wants your love. Now we're going to the after tarot. These cards are going to be about the future, okay? Somebody might be faking a situation with the temperance card there. It's often the fake it till you make it card. You know, somebody might be faking good intentions with you and you know it's a lie. You have this master awareness and you're sad. The, the main focus is the five of cups. This is, this is bullshit. Okay, whoever's doing this is they're causing a bunch of bullshit that hurts. Okay, but you have the tools inside to get through it very quickly. Okay, magician, magician is right above it, and the page is cup, page of cups is right below it. I mean, you can handle it, no problem. So I think that you're moving closer to a soulmate relationship. We have a couple here, okay? And then we have the two of cups here. That's a couple as well. So when you see it, but couples like this, it kind of indicates a soulmate relationship, okay? So it looks like you're moving closer to a soulmate relationship and starting something new. And the thing is, is you're going to have to do it with faith and trust, even if somebody has lied to you and betrayed you in the past, Okay, so this is the future now. This can be anywhere from three months to 
a year, okay, out. Um, it looks pretty quick, though. It looks like it's it's three months or less, okay, this future. Anyway, I see that you heading in the direction of love. I see you doing it, and I think it's going to be very exciting. You're going to be working with a team, as a team with somebody. There's going to be a mutual respect for each other. There's going to be collaboration. There's going to be um, a lot of nurturing and caring and... Um, excitement okay in the future it just looks very very good these are all really good cards in the future all right and this is where you take control of the situation you are you're taking control of the situation so something is going to happen if it hasn't happened already could be this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn causes this could be regarding your relationship maybe they don't want you to be in the relationship that you're in I don't know okay this is for so many people all right and so they they try to deceive you and they lie about something or they try to cause havoc because I see somebody's trying to to cause you pain that's what I see you know because they're hurt but I see you just moving forward and faith and trust and having all the tools to get through it with no problem at all none and I see that your partner ahead of you could be a soulmate connection, all right? Could be somebody that you can work very well with, like, as a team together. And it could be very exciting and charming and romantic. It looks really good. It does. It looks really good in the future. You know, it looks like there's a lot of creativity. It's like a rebirth, okay? It's where things are just flourishing between you and this other person. Um, not the person that is lying to you. So, Scorpio, this is what I have for you for the week of September 18th through the 24th. It looks to me that, you know, there's going to, something's going to happen that is going to shake things up. But you have all the tools to get through it very, very, very well. You might have a few moments of sadness or hurt over it or confusion or chaos. But it looks like you handle it with tact and ease. And it's like you, you were aware of this. You were aware that it was coming. It was almost like this is deja vu, okay? So um, that's what I have. 